I will answer a few of the questions that uh, Mundo to me uh, user left uh, a few hours ago. It's regarding the my settings uh, file or class that I use on Facebook Developer Toolkit Part One, and also I won't answer this one on this video about the controls because that's part of um, Part Two of the vi video series. But I would do answer this other question about WPF because I did mention that the previous uh, code. Um, so I'll give an example about using settings files in uh, Visual Studio Express. Um, here's one pretty easy, pretty easy to understand. What this is is open up solution explorer and all you have to do is actually just right click on your solution or project and do add new item and from here all you have to pick is find a setting file and if you want more details from Microsoft uh, go to this site it's setting page project designer and it talks about the settings uh, in, in more detail but basically what it does is saves your application settings uh, there's another link in here application settings and if you read on you will see how to use it and here's one quick sample what it's supposed to do uh, you can save settings uh, but I'll show you and obviously you have to call the save method to save your settings if you uh, run your application again but all I did was uh, select settings files and right here all I did was name give it a name and hit add now I already did this so I'm gonna cancel it but when that happens it creates this file uh, you can name it whatever you want I'll double click on it close this and from here under name this is whatever you want to call uh, date of birth and the type it's up to you but on this one I'll pick um, should be a date time date time right here system dot date time so the the Visual Studio will know that hey I'm storing a, a daytime object and user what it that th this mean is that means you you will be changing the value this value on this column when you're running your code. Now if you set it to like this one over here, my application ID, I set it to an integer. That means if you set to application, that means you it's only a read only. You cannot change it while you're running your application. So I made a sample one full name a string user. So I'll be running this in code and changing the value. This one I will not be changing. This is static. And the age, same thing. My preference string the same way. And data verse. Well, I'll just take this one now we don't need it right now so that's all the, what it does this is basically a storage so I'll run this sample here uh, for example uh, I have a call here get full name and all it does is returns as you can see a string right here say return Peter Johnson 200 or whatever you want so what I'm gonna do is call it and this is gonna return a name uh, on my next step I'm gonna save the full name so as you can see if I go back and do well, hold on let me undo that okay there we go date of birth I'm gonna save go to my code and call it in default that date of birth right there and as you can see, it's expecting a daytime 
object so you can do like you cannot do this even though it's a date but it won't compile see represents a series of unicode characters and it's telling you right there error so if you want to do that if you actually want to do that you could try and do this date time die time try we'll just do parse and part takes a string like that and then you can compile your your application but I'm not gonna be using this I'm not, not gonna be using date of birth I'll just leave it like that so in this case I'm gonna call save my string into full name and then as you can see I'm writing that value that I assigned on this step I'm just gonna read it back into that console same thing with the edge I'm gonna remember I set it to an integer so I need to pass an integer too then this is what uh, we can do once you save or assign a value you can add it to it in this this integer you add in a hundred or whatever you want to add and then call it in um, later on so we're gonna try it so I'm gonna hit run so you can see I got Peter Johnson whatever our value now this the the method right here this guy which is over here now the next line this one is coming from our settings file that one is coming we're grabbing that one from here so you can see you, you, you the program was able this studio was able to call it in and save to full name and right here we're printing it out same thing here we're assigning and later on where we can in runtime change the value you can see we did set it to one but after that we added 1040 so plus one is 1041 now if I close this guy now I'm gonna uncomment all of this to there and where's the guy okay now we're down now I'm gonna try to read whatever I did assign to it I'm just gonna run it call the full name age and my preference as you can see nothing was returned so what's the point of it well I'll show you so we're gonna do the same thing Now I'm gonna go back here. The same thing, same code, nothing has changed. The only difference now is on this one, we're gonna sign this one. On this case, we're gonna call this guy friends default.save. Now, when you call this guy, uh, your program will remember this value. In this case, one, not not 1,041 because this is dynamic. So it will set to one, and this guy will remember the full name. So we're gonna run it. Okay, nothing has changed, but now since we call save uh, this studio will remember the values now I'm gonna do the same thing now come in well back up here and so now if I call this guys Now, if I call write to console, it should remember 
because I call previously previously uh, save so run it you can see it remembers Peter Johnson 201 because that's what I set it to and 240vs.com so that's all that this file does you can assign values while it's running uh, using this scope user now if you set it to application that means something is going to be static it won't change at all because if you try to change my amp id it will give you an error like this for example my friends that default that amp id see it takes an integer so when i say equals four now i'm gonna try to build it you see, see got an error and why it's right here it's read only so you see the difference between application and user users can be changed while you're running your application your application now the application scope you cannot change it while you're running your amp it's static read only so if you want more details you can go and find it on MSN uh, library application settings for more information regarding this and on the next video I'm gonna go over more about the API for Facebook and before I go I have to answer this question regarding the WPF that I mentioned on the previous uh, video and what that is is this uh, when you're setting your desktop session object one of the arguments is uh, boolean is WPF so all you have to set and in this case is to false because uh, this is a WinForms, not a WPF application. That's all what it means. Now, if you are doing a WPF, you should set this to true. Um, now, going back to this um, example, uh, I used these same settings in the Facebook uh, video one. And as you can see right here, I'm using it my settings you can name it whatever you want it but it's always the name you set it to which is this guy and then default and then the uh, the value that you have set up set up the name so this is how you set it session and then you're pulling from your uh, desktop session or the and saving it um, uh, and finally the last thing I want to um, show on this video is this control maybe some of you have not used it but it's basically a web um, browser and all it is is this control this guy web browser so all you have to do is drag it down into your form Oops. and that's what I'm using to show the news feed but I'll cover uh, in more details how to fill uh, the web browser uh, with a HTML table in more detail in part 2 of this uh, developer toolkit API if you have any questions you can leave me a comment and I'll try to do my best to make a video and answer your questions. Thank you for watching.